Hey everybody, Eurus McSparks here, and today I'd like to talk with you about Roblox's Smooth Terrain feature. It's a complete overhaul of our old terrain, and we think it's going to go a long way to making your games look more realistic, natural, just increase the overall visual quality of your games. So let's dive in and see how we can use it in our game. So I've got Studio open up here. I've got a little bit of our legacy terrain in just a little island, some little beach and a path. Nothing particularly fancy. And I'm going to tr convert this to our new terrain. Because the big important thing is that we're not going to be moving all the old games to the new terrain system. You can you only move the, your terrain to the new terrain if you want to go with that look. If you like the look of the legacy terrain, you're welcome to keep using that. But if you want to use the new terrain, let's follow along. So all you have to do is click on Convert to Smooth. This is in the Terrain tab at Studio. I'm going to say yes, I want to convert, because you can't convert back once you've done it one way. And here we go. Everything is nice and smooth. Materials blend really nice when they get close to each other. And of course, as you can see, there's no sharp corners on this grass. There's no wedges or boxes. It looks a lot more natural. So let's see how we can build some terrain, not just generate it from the legacy. So first, let's look at the Add tool. And it's pretty straightforward. First, we select mater what material we want to use. Let's use like a little rock material. You can adjust your brush a little bit. You can change the size. And just start painting. You can start making a little hill here out of rocks. And the Add tool just starts adding terrain into the world. And we can change the size of the brush if we need to make it a little bit more detailed. We can make a really big brush if we want to get a really a lot of terrain in all at once. So the Add tool is really nice when you just need to start getting new terrain into your world. Just start building stuff really quickly. And you can see it's pretty easy to move. You just drag the cursor around to keep dragging it. You also notice that there's these invisible plane lines, or tra sorry, translucent plane lines. As I move the mouse, you can see that moving kind of over the world. That shows where your mouse will go if you're dragging. So here the lines are straight up and down. So if I move up and left and right, I'm moving along that plane. As you turn your camera, that plane will tilt. So if you want to go horizontal, look straight down, move your terrain side, tool side to side. If I look at the world side on, then the train will go up and down. Oof, that all looks ugly. I'm going to do it all. <laughs> Get my nice pretty island back. Now conversely to add, there's a subtract tool. It works basically the opposite way just starts hollowing out terrain really quickly. So this is good if you just don't like a big chunk of your terrain, you just want to get rid of it really quick. So there's not much finesse though to add and subtract. They're very gross. They'll just start to either add or subtract in big chunks. If you want to have a more gradual approach to sculpting your terrain, I recommend the grow and erode tools. So let's look at grow first. I'm going to select grass in this case. With grow, it slowly starts to fill in the terrain. Instead of just plopping it in like the add tool, it slowly pushes terrain outwards. It starts to fill it out. And you can control the rate of how much it fills with the strength uh, bar here. If you set it really low, it slowly, slowly fills in. Set it high, it goes really fast, makes hills really quickly. And conversely, a road will just shrink things down. But again, a lot smoother, more natural than the subtract tool. It's not quite as fast, but you will give a nice, much more pleasing curve. Another nice tool you can use is the smooth tool. What that does is it just gets rid of kind of sharp corners in your terrain. I find this brush to be particularly useful when you're converting from the legacy terrain. Because you notice here, because the way that the old train worked, you use a lot of wedges and boxes, you get a lot of steps when you convert. But with smooth, all I have to do is just brush over those little edges, and you have a nice solid hillside. Doesn't look like it's made out of wedges at all. It takes a little bit of time to kind of smooth things out. I can use, you know, I can change the brush size just like the other the other brushes and the other tools. That's a good way of just making your terrain 
all sm smoother overall. So growing terrain is nice. Once you have it there, we can re we can reskin it. You can use our paint tool. With the paint tool, this doesn't add or subtract terrain, but just lets you select a material. Like let's say I want to make a sandy beach over here. Maybe not quite as big a brush size. And I can just start painting over the existing terrain. Change the material. I can start adding some more rocks up on the hillside. And just like with the other brushes, you can change the size. Another option I didn't show you, you can set it to cubes instead of circles, if that's what you prefer. And you can just paint in your terrain however you want to, without having to add or subtract terrain. So another tool I'd really like to show off is our region tool. So let's say we add a little bit of terrain that we really like. Like let's say we make a big, I don't know, maybe an R for Roblox. And we really like that. But we don't quite like where it is. Well, what we can do is we can select our region tool and we get this little selection box. And we can resize this, kind of like scaling a part, just a regular part in Studio. I'm just going to make sure that it overlaps all the parts of my R here on all sides. So bear with me for just a moment. Maybe not so much over on this side. A bit more on the bottom. And what we can do with it is now we can click move and we can plop it anywhere we like. Move it anywhere on the train we like. We can even rotate it. We can get a little R on its side. Back up again. We can resize it if we want it to be bigger. And what's super cool is we can actually copy and paste it. So if there's a train element we really like, we can just place it anywhere else in the world. And if we're really not crazy about it, we can click delete. It just clears it out. And this is a really cool way of you know, recreating terrain features that you really like in your game. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you is our generate tool. Now, if you're like me, you might notice I'm not the best <laughs> at making terrain with our tools. I'm not much of an artist. But fortunately, we have a generator. We'll take care of most of that work for us. There's all kinds of different modifiers we can go into. It's a little bit too many to really to explain in detail. I just encourage you to play around with it, see see what comes up with. But we click generate, and what we'll do is actually make a landscape for us using the smooth terrain. It takes a little while depending on how big the terrain you wanted, but it's a really quick and easy way to get a landscape without having to sculpt it yourself. And of course, if you don't like how it looks, you can use the tools like the grow and erode. You can morph the terrain however you like. You can paint, we can put in beaches or paths, however we feel like. It's a really quick and easy way to get some really good looking terrain into your game. So that about covers all the tools for our new smooth terrain feature. But we're really excited about this here at Roblox. Hope you are too. We can't wait to see the great games and creations you'll make with this. So this has been your Smick Sparks. Thanks for watching.